Hello everyone, welcome back to more Pathway. This is Disturbing Puppet. Today we're going to be continuing with the second mission, which is The Wrath of God. So this is sort of a 1930s pulp, uh, sort of Indiana Jones-like game. Uh, and basically we are trying to stop the Nazis from collecting mystical artifacts. Seems like uh, with the title The Wrath of God, uh, maybe they're looking for the Ark of the Covenant. So um, we are heading to Mount Ararat to try to stop them from finding something there that the Nazis are looking for. Uh, we kind of stopped halfway through the last uh, session, um, so we're a little bit more than halfway through the mission, I think. So it's quite a bit longer than the first mission. Uh, we kind of have had one map and then uh, finished up with the mission at the end. And this we've gone through two two or three maps already. I think this is this one that we're on. Uh, it does kind of procedurally generate some of the locations and the random events you come into and the combats and stuff. So could sometimes maybe be a lot harder than others. But we're kind of kicking butt so far. Uh, we've got my team here set up, and we're just going to continue where we were last time. Yes, yeah, so I think we've just got this map to get through. Well, maybe we've got another one after this one. So I think this is the current one. So we're on our way to Mount Ararat. The Nazis are already going, uh, so we just came into the map. So we have our full team here. I'm trying to save up enough money to buy some additional Jeep storage space. Right now I've got uh, this kind of filled up mostly. I'm kind of holding on to some things because I want to be able to give them to my other uh, characters. I can only take four. I uh, started with three, and I was able to pick up Baron here to add to the team. So we have Natalia, who's sort of my healer. We've got a really cool pistol with her now. Prince Omar, who's a shotgunner, but he can also do some healing um, and uh, repair armor. He could actually carry grenades, too. We've got a pretty good shotgun with him. The shotgun he was using, we're now holding on to for other shotgunner that we have back at base. Uh, Miguel, kind of a machine gunner and grenadier. So we've got a nice assault rifle. We've got kind of a mediocre one we can give to our other assault rifle guy eventually. And Baron B is our sniper. We have an okay sniper rifle. Um, I wish it would do a little bit more damage, but overall doing pretty good. We've got some decent armor. So we've got the Warren assistance coat here, 12 armor. A splint leather jacket on Miguel, uh, a new bulletproof vest, so Omar can take a lot of damage and repair armor, and the splendid assistance coat. So um, in this game, every time we move, we use up fuel, so that's a problem that we only have four fuel. Every time we shoot, it does use ammo, which we then refill. Supplies are used to refill healing items and also um, like the sort of sewing kits and stuff that are used to repair the armor. So we've got decent supplies, we've got plenty of ammo. Um, fuel is definitely a problem. We only have four. Um, why do we only have four? I was sure I had more than four. So, hmm. Where can I get fuel? Nowhere! We've got a trader out here. So we could buy fuel there, but that's a long way to get to try to buy some fuel. If we run out of fuel, we end up having to walk between uh, places, which causes us to take some kind of damage and stuff overall. Uh, so this is our final objective, but I'm not sure if we'll have another mission after this. So this is kind of bad, actually, coming in with only four fuel. And some of the events and things when we go to random tiles could cause me to lose some. I did lose some before. Um, I had the option with the trader last time to buy some fuel, but I thought that was the end of the mission, so I didn't focus on it. So I kind of feel like I have to go this way to head for the trader to get fuel. Once I get from there... Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So even from there, I need eight. Starting off with only four is definitely a problem. Um, one, two, three. We can make it to some kind of event. Here we could pick up another person. Um, this seems like it's people that I already have in my group. They're just um, people I could swap out my current team with instead of unlocking a new character. At least so far, that's been what it is. At some point, you might be able to use these to unlock new characters, but I haven't seen that yet. So I'm tempted to go for this, but I feel like I have to go for the trader. It might be faster this way. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, so twelve to get there. If we go the other way and head towards the trader, it's going to be more than that, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it's even just 10 to get to here. Yeah, I think we've got to go right and hope that we pick up fuel at events and stuff. We can also, maybe we're going to have to get involved in every combat because we might get some fuel after combats. 
we're doing pretty good. We're in okay health and stuff, so I think we've just got to have to fight everybody we can to get fuel. Somewhere in the desert. As soon as you notice the Nazi flag, you stop immediately and look around for danger. Soon you realize it's just an abandoned flag and leave. Okay, nothing. Yeah, we definitely need more fuel. In the mountains. Among the rocks you see the remains of a broken down truck that must have veered off the steep mountain road. Unfortunately, after a short search, it becomes clear the Germans have left nothing of value. Omar suddenly cries out in delight. In the glove compartment, you find a forgotten edition of the Journal of National Racial Archaeology from April 1932. You reef through it and pause at an article about finds in southeastern Anatolia. It contains images of Hittite relief fragments, including the depiction of a winged birdman shooting lightning bolts from his hands. The caption is an ancient eastern saying, The flames of the hand banishes the hungry ones from the gardens. You exchange confused looks. What could it mean? Well, that sounds like the flaming sword the angel had when he uh, kicked everyone out of the Garden of Eden. Or kicked Adam and Eve out of the Garden of Eden. A hard lesson learned. Uh, looks like we've got level ups. So, hopefully... No, just one. Alright, everyone got experience. Just Omar leveled up. Alright, so... Let's see, where are we? So we've picked up dash, we've picked up increased crit damage for shotguns. So we can take vitality, which will give me some health. Dexterity increases my chance to hit. And willpower... Determines bravery points. Okay, so that's used for special actions and stuff. So he used that, basically was able to figure that out because he has the ancient languages skill. So every character has different skills that they have that will sometimes interact with events um, in different ways. He's already got pretty good health. Um, we could make him a better shot, but he's mostly using a shotgun. I could switch him to the assault rifle, but um, I do have that. Uh, I think I picked up, yeah, the crit skill here is focused on shotguns, so we're more kind of specializing in shotguns with him. Willpower isn't terrible. Uh, Dexterity is not terrible. Vitality is probably the best because I'm generally rushing him out in front. So let's just give him more health. Up to 80. And I haven't run out of fuel before. And I know it came up in the little dialogue when I was going through the intro. But I don't remember what happened. So we might take health damage. I'm not sure. Um... We'll kind of see what happens, is we'll have to abandon the Jeep if we run out of cash, or run out of fuel, and I'm not sure what that means for the stuff we're carrying. So a deserted oasis. You see a lonely camel standing in the shade of a small grove of palm trees. As you approach, you see the animal is tethered. You find traces of a camp, but not a human soul. So we can investigate the camp randomly. We've got a skill that affects this, so somebody has the brute skill. Search the place thoroughly. So it uses a perk. Might be positive, might be negative. Let's search thoroughly. No, it's Omar. Not far from the abandoned camp, you find a crevice in the cliff next to the grove. It may be a cave entrance, but it's been buried by a rock avalanche. The debris looks like it fell recently. Someone was exploring and got trapped. Actually, it looks like the round um, rolling ball from the beginning of uh, Raiders of the Lost Ark. Omar spits on his hands and starts to heave the massive boulder out of the way. Suddenly you hear muffled cries for help. Omar redoubles his efforts. A short time later, you're pulling a dust-covered nomad out from behind the debris. The man. Surely heaven has sent you. An avalanche must have come down during the night. I was caught like a fox in a trap. He goes back into the cave and returns with some bundles over his shoulders. You have saved the life of a simple traveler. Please take this as a token of my gratitude. I just want fuel. In his hands, he holds a nondescript amulet. Who will take it? Well, Omar saved him, and Omar speaks ancient languages, so let's have Omar take it. The amulet is worn right over the heart. You thank the man and continue the, your journey. Omar has a lucky charm. The engine sounds kind of empty. Yep, one fuel left. That's it. So, what do we have for lucky charm? Plus one vitality, plus one reflexes. Temporary perk only lasts until the end of the adventure. Okay. Yeah, I can carry grenades with him as well, but I'd have to swap out my repair, uh, armor repair kit. Which actually, for combat, a grenade might be better, because we can use this between combats. Um, but I'm not sure what's going to happen if we have to abandon the Jeep here with all the stuff we're carrying. We can probably carry stuff, but I'm not sure if we can carry anything extra. And I'm not sure what happens to our supplies and stuff, either. 
So I really need something to give me some fuel. That's it for the fuel. Unless I get more here. The herd of goats. You hear the bleeding of the goats long before you see the goat herd himself. The man has made himself comfortable in the shade of some trees. You nod to each other and exchange a few words. When the conversation turns to the Germans, the goat herd jumps up excitedly. I have seen the men you seek. They're on the path to their own ruin. Confused, they ask the goat herd what he means. The wise men and women in our village know that no stranger may approach the holy Mount Ararat without incurring its wrath. Listen and believe. Once Ararat has awakened, the earth will shake in its foundations. You say goodbye to the shepherd and set off again, confused and thoughtful. Uh, when you used up the last drop of glass, gas, your jeep finally gives up the ghost and sputters to a halt. You exchange looks of consternation. Will you continue your journey on foot or give up? Um, I think let's try it. I'm not sure what'll happen. I still see jeep storage, but we haven't moved on yet. So we want to take as quick a route as we can to the end. So we'll just go through here and see what happens. Oh, we just took a bunch of damage, that's all. Actually, it was quite a bit, though. A village in the desert. As you approach the huts, you see a familiar figure waving to you from the middle of the village. Miguel says, Jackson, is that really you? What brings you here? I heard you around here somewhere, so I thought you might need some help. Maybe. What's a catch? Well, I've incurred a few expenses, if you know what I mean. And I think we're fine. We don't need to change anybody out. Basically, it's just changing someone out that we already have. Uh, how's our health situation? Not fantastic. Um, we might have to start burning health at some point. I can't use... I do have some skills for healing, but I can't use them in this... I have to use them in combat. So let's head there. Desert Temple. The ancient building in front of you has taken some rough treatment. Decorative elements have been thrown carelessly to the floor. The door has been forced open. Could the perpetrators still be inside the temple? A short time later, you sneak up on a squad of soldiers. They remain oblivious to your approach as they are tapping on the walls of the temple's main hall. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and ambush them. Um, I'm not sure what happens if I get fuel at this point because we've abandoned the jeep. I'm not sure if we can pick it up. Can we go back and get it? We are pretty hurt, but we can do some healing and take care of that, I think. Uh, we've got some armor here. We've got a lot of cover. You hang back. Omar, you can be in the front. Uh, is that cover? Wouldn't have thought so, but we'll put you there. Baron, for now, take that spot. So we're ambushing them so we get the first action. Might just do some healing. Um, I can shoot him already. Oh, he's a level three, uh, so he's got a lot of armor. Tesla Borg probably means that he's got some kind of uh, disruptor which damages armor. It's a level two there. This guy's really tough, actually. Um, let's go ahead and heal myself a bit. And we'll take a pot shot at him. Not bad, actually. We did more damage than I expected with the amount of armor he's got on him. Omar can also do some healing. Uh, he is not in range of Omar. Oh, yeah, he is. All right, Omar should be able to take him out, I think. Yeah, let's just heal up Omar. And hopefully drop him. There we go. Yeah, nobody can withstand Prince Omar. Omar's a badass. So he's doing really well. I uh, don't have a way to heal Baron or Miguel. What is this? Resuscitate. Revive a downed ally and restore 10 HP. It does not require or consume supplies. I forgot, that was his last level up skill we picked up. I do have a grenade, so we could move up and probably toss a grenade to get these two. I could also probably gun them down. Well, now the angle's probably bad. I don't know if I can shoot them both. 
Yeah, we can grenade both of them, so let's do that. So we hurt both of them and took out a lot of their armor. I do have... Oh, I don't have a shot. Or do I? Yep, we've got a shot here. Sure. Try to stay at range. He is a sniper after all. And let's just reload. For this combat, what I'd like to do is move these two down to heal them up as well, so we're in a better position before we try to move on. Instead of using our healing items, try to use the healing skills as much as we can to keep us in the fight and moving on. Ooh, that just took out armor. Ten armor dropped instantly. Alright, he's out of here. Okay. You can see him. Let's get the shot. Alright, he's down. Off he design indeed. And let's hold off. You can get pretty far. How far can you get? Not as far. Alright, Natalia, come down and heal him up. Just keep using the skill. Omar, do you have the points? No, nope, we don't have the points. I can repair armor. So we could come hang out here and repair his armor up. It's not a terrible decision. Maybe not the best either. All fixed up. Alright, Sniper can still move or do something, but there's not really a great position. Um, so if I were to move up here, would that give me vision? Nope. Okay. Alright, yeah, I think I'll just stay put and reload. And Miguel, I don't have a shot. No, it's not showing it. Yeah, it keeps not highlighting them when I'm not in the shooting mode. Alright, that works for me. Drop him. I can see him from here, so that's fine. Let's just stay put. Um, I could go ahead and take up low profile, so the first shot will automatically miss me. So if you want to take a shot at him, not going to do him any good. Alright. Can you do any more healing? Nope, we're down to healing items. Um, so we've gotten a heal on everyone except for Miguel. So Omar, let's try to move out of the way. I can plan on just killing him, but I'm not going to do it yet. Let's go ahead and heal up Miguel. Actually use a healing item on him. And I might see if I can get a shot. Take him out with the sniper. That should be everybody. Alright. Yeah, what did we get? Alright, so that's a better way to repair armor, some supplies, money. Not what I wanted. Fuel is what I wanted. All right, how are we doing? Natalia is a little hurt. That's a bit of a problem. Um, Omar, let's go ahead and swap this out. So that repairs 10, this repairs 14. This we can just get rid of. What else can we do? I do have a lot of healing items, but I think anytime I use any of them, it automatically burns a supply, I think. So if I use this on her, yeah, it just burns a supply. It automatically re-ups it. Even though it's got a couple combat uses, if I use it out of combat, it 
uses one supply for each time. So we're going to get whittled down a lot moving down. We're going to burn through supplies really quick if we're doing healing that way. In the distance, you see what looks like an old temple structure. You stop to investigate and realize the entrance has caved in long ago. That's it. All right, another move should be okay. A few scrawny goats. When they see you, the goats that must have been dozing here bleat excitedly and jump up. When the animals realize you pose no threat, they return to their grazing. Alright, how's our health now? I could probably go another one, but I probably should do some healing. Um, yeah, let's use this on Baron, because he's pretty trashed. Try to do this as little as possible as we move through, because I'm not sure if we might even have another map. And we do have probably a big fight here at the end. If I can at least get through this, I'm hoping this is the end. Obsidian block. Not far from the path, a misshapen rock or black object looms out of the sand. It appears to be a huge obsidian block of natural origin, hurled here by a volcanic eruption many eons ago. You see the menacing silhouette of the Mount Sufon? Mount Supon? Volcano in the distance. You feel tiny and vulnerable in the face of such timeless vastness. You set off again soon afterward. Again, let's check on our health. This is getting a bit dangerous. Um, geez, Omar's like the toughest, and he's taking a lot of damage. I think we're going to have to do a couple heals here. Let's heal Omar up. Let's heal Natalia up. I was good on supplies at one point. Now we're in trouble. I think we can definitely make it here, but I don't, if there's another map, we're not going to be able to make it through. On your next break, you stop near a beautiful rock formation. Okay, that was it, apparently. All right, let's hold off and get through one more. We'll do some healing before we get to the final spot. A mountain river. The wooden bridge over the gurgling mountain torrent looks far from trustworthy, but if the Germans made it, you guess you too will survive the crossing. The bridge creaks and sways menacingly. As you reach the middle, it sags by a few more inches. With your hearts in your mouths, you reach for the other side without further incident. Okay, all right, time to do some last healing. I've got two more heals. Um, geez, Baron's almost dead. All right, we've got to use them on Baron. And Miguel is the next most hurt, really, so that's probably what I should do. These two can kind of heal themselves on their own turn. Yeah, so let's heal up Miguel. Now we're totally out of supplies, no more healing. You can see how this can become really dangerous really quick without a jeep. Mount Ararat. At the foot of the mighty mountain, you find you finally find the vehicles of the Nazi expedition parked by an old mine entrance. You've reached your destination. You park your own vehicle. Uh, unless we've been, like, dragging it the whole time in neutral or something. Uh, you park your own vehicle behind a rock and cautiously sneak closer with your weapons drawn, but you do not encounter anybody. Like a mine. After a long trek through the enormous mine, you hear voices. You sneak closer and hide behind some boxes. The hall is teeming with soldiers. You hear a loud shout. A detachment of soldiers runs into an adjoining room. You crane your necks, but you cannot see what they're doing there. Um, they're ambushing us. <laughs> Suddenly you feel the muzzles of several rifles being jammed into your backs. You've been discovered. Well, that's not good. Um, that looks bad. The patrol escorts you into the stone chamber. The soldier and a senior officer are standing there around a huge sprawling device. The officer's face lights up when he sees you. Colonel von Ortzen. Delightful, I do love company. Please come closer. You see, this is the problem with these old myths. You never know what to expect. The wrath of God. Presumably an artifact of untold power. Deadly power, if you understand me. The officer points casually towards the object. I'm sure you can appreciate that I am reluctant to risk the lives of my men. Perhaps you might help me? The officer nods to you encouragingly. 
You look around to see several rifles pointed at you. You have no choice. Um, it's a Stargate. We're going to go through a Stargate. You approach the strange object. It is covered with arcane devices. In their midst, you see a bizarre yet fearsome-looking object. Is this the mythical wrath of God? What will happen if you take it? Baron shrugs and grabs the artifact. Then everything happens very quickly. The Nazis get their faces melted off? Something like that? Yeah, it looks like a Stargate to me. <laughs> they did get their faces melted off. <laughs> Among the startled shouts of the surprised soldiers, you also hear Baron's cries of pain. The wrath of God glows red in his hands. In a swift motion, Baron hurls the weapons aside. You take cover, anticipating a German counterattack. And the officer runs away like the coward he is. Um, please tell me we're not fighting aliens or something. Alright. Looks like Nazis. Does this give me cover? Yeah, that's cover. That's cover. So you need to heal yourself, that's for sure. Um, let's kind of hang out there. Omar, you're fairly tough. You can take the edge. Some more guys further back. Miguel, check the other side. That looks clear. Uh, we do have guys down here. I can't see. Where do we... I'm not sure. So that's open. But this looks like it's caved in. Like you might have to go around. But I'm not sure. That's no cover. Alright, let's just hang out here for the time being. So I think they get a move and then I get my actions, I think, in this setup. But I might only get one action, I'm not sure. This is Ambush, there's Tumult, there's a couple other different versions of uh, first interactions that kind of decide what happens and how. Why can I not use a med kit? It's got no uses. What? I used it to heal, but that should have... Oh, maybe because I used it and then it, I used up all of the choices. I could have swapped this out from my inventory with another one and probably would have been fine in combat. Okay, that's really bad. Um, all right. Heal yourself for what you can. At least I've got armor, but that's really bad. Officer 3, Shock Trooper 3, Sniper 3, Tesla Borg 3, I don't like that. Tesla Borg 3. Because they're just going to destroy my armor, and that's pretty much the only protection I really have. So it seems like I do have a couple um, actions available. Gotta heal yourself. I can probably take out the sniper. We can do good damage to the Tesla Borg. Maybe someone else can finish him off. Um, I can actually hit the officer, surprisingly, so I don't have the choice to do a double shot. Alright, let's go for the sniper. That was a good shot. If we can finish him off. Not sure we're going to be able to do that, though. I'm not sure what the visibility... Alright, so he's there, so they can get through this way. Uh, yeah, I don't have a grenade available either for some reason. There's no reason I shouldn't have a grenade available. I don't understand why my grenade's not available. So if I move here, I will have a shot on the sniper. Let's 
It's not great. Got a lot of 50 percents. Yeah. Not having that grenade is going to be a problem. Um, so I could move in and do some close combat, possibly. No, can't get close enough. Omar, what can you do? Finish the sniper off or hit the Tesla Borg. So if you can kill the sniper, then we'll go for the Tesla Borg. If not, we'll take a shot and uh, start working on the Tesla Borg there. I could also lock down an area. I do have an 80% chance to hit him. Let's just finish him off. And I've got enemies coming in, so let's hide. So Omar, you're free to take a shot at him. All right, whittling him down a little bit. And I think we'll just stay where we're at. Although these guys coming in from behind, I really don't like. I feel like I'm in a bad spot. And we're already down a lot of health, so this could be bad. Oh, he's just coming right in on us. Where are you going? I didn't even notice you. You must be a sniper. I couldn't even see who you hit. It must have been uh, Miguel. All right, we got to put some of these guys into the ground as quick as possible. You're really exposed. Kind of in a dumb way. Might even be able to just finish you off with a shot. Okay. Um, we could reload and dash. Yeah, I can't repair my armor either. I don't know why all of my stuff is not available, but my guns and stuff are. Do have another first aid action ready. You've got one as well. All right, these guys coming in from the south, I really don't like. So you're a sniper. Let's go say hi to the sniper. Ah, and I'm taking long shots, but I don't have a lot of other choices. We can't just get in and knife him. Um, that's not too bad. We're not going to do enough damage, though. I don't have a very good knife, so it's only 18 to 22 damage. Probably better off with Baron sort of locking down an area. Omar, yeah, let's just heal you up. Because your armor got trashed. Baron, what can you see? 80% chance there. We're not going to take him out. But if I soften him up enough, we can maybe have somebody else finish him off. Miguel might come down and take him out. Um, I can turn invisible again. I don't have enough to lay down an overwatch. Actually, I don't think I can shoot and then do that. So let's turn invisible again. Miguel, I really wish you had a grenade. They're not that clumped up. Uh, he's kind of here too, so even if I come down here, it's really not great. I might have a shot there. He's coming in from behind, which is a bit of a problem. So 50% from here. If I move to the other side of the cover, it should be better. Maybe not a lot better, but it should be better. Nope, still 50 
All right, we got lucky, took him out. Him coming in is going to be a problem. Yeah, that's everybody, unfortunately. And we only took out one, which is not ideal. They like that spot, apparently. So I think that's something where he can give one of his other guys another action. So Omar, um, we can't kill him in one shot. Come bang on the shock trooper a bit, probably. You've got a heal ready. Uh, Miguel's got no armor anymore. Hmm. So heal someone or take a couple pistol shots. Uh, we might be okay if I can drop a couple people, so let's try a couple bad chances. We actually hit both, surprisingly. Um, okay, on ammo, do I want to move? Probably. Don't like you being behind me at all. Let's take some cover here for now. Omar, let's try to finish this guy off. Oh, except I've got to reload. Crap. Um, can I see anything? Nothing. Uh, well, that's not helpful. Could do a melee attack. Might finish off the shock trooper. I do have an 80% chance to hit him. Um, would that take him out? Maybe. 80% here, that's a bit more likely. Doesn't this have armor pen? Yeah, it's armor piercing. So I might be better off just knifing this guy than shooting him. So 10 to 13 plus 7, or 18 to 22 armor piercing damage. Let's go for the knife. Discreet and efficient. All right. So now it's up to Miguel to kill this guy. I don't need to reload. Chance from here is 50. That's not good enough. Uh, yeah, I can kind of tuck into here behind him. Shoot him in the back. Still only 50. Why is it only 50? And I had to take the shot no matter what, but I don't know why that was only 50% chance. And Omar... Grab some cover. Alright. Under control relatively now. We just have the officer and this guy. If the officer can give the other guy commands, that's bad. But I think Omar can just move in and gun him. And we can kind of get some assistance. If we can come around behind with Miguel, maybe. No, not quite far enough. Could get to here and get a shot, though. Omar. But you just come right down next to him. Shoot him in the face. 
All right, that took care of him. I thought we'd have to have somebody else shoot at him. Can you see the officer? Yes. 80%, I will take. And reload. No heals ready. Just reload. See if I can draw his attention. If we stand out in the open and then we can use a low profile, so his first shot is guaranteed to miss. So if it takes a shot at him, automatically miss. I'll be good. I'm standing out in the open, so hopefully I'm attempting target. Nope, apparently not. Baron, can you see him? No. All right, we've got to move over. Can't quite see. I think I can see him from here. Yep. Still alive, though. All right, you've got a heal ready. You do not. Uh, Omar, you're in pretty good shape. Let's heal Baron up, because he's in the front. And she might be able to heal herself. If somebody goes down, we can use the resuscitate action. Uh, for right now, let's go on the edge, I guess. A little bit out of range. We'll just reload. Uh, I don't really want to push up with her, even though I have to get close for the pistol shots. But I think we're better off just hanging out right now in the back. Just down to the one officer. He's almost dead. If nothing else, Baron should be able to drop him. Excellent. Okay, that was a little bit dicey because we didn't have any heals and we didn't have a grenade or anything. Please tell me that's it. I don't want to go to another place. <laughs> Mount Ararat. As the last soldier falls to the ground, you look at each other in disbelief. You actually did it, but you don't have much time. A loud creaking noise warns you of another impending disaster or danger. A monstrous construct did not survive the battle unscathed. So it's going to collapse. Sharp Bowie knife. Nice. Take that. Splendid Morley Burke sniper rifle. Okay, well, let's uh, get rid of that. Make some space for that. Gloves for money. Uh, another improved grenade. All of these have two uses on them. Yeah, let's just get rid of one. Take the grenade. I think that's better than what we start with. Still no fuel. The whole place could collapse at any moment. You run as fast as you can to escape the collapsing masonry. <laughs> the running sound. <laughs> Only when you've reached your jeep do you have time to catch your breath. The Wrath of God. It, it is kind of reading it, but it's super low. I lowered the volume of the music, but it seems to affect the voiceover as well. It's kind of goofy anyway. But The Wrath of God. The artifact should be buried forever under tons of rock. Your only consolation is the Nazis will never get their hands on it. Not bad. So it ended up taking quite a while overall. That last section didn't take as long as I thought. Um, running out of fuel is definitely a problem. So I definitely want to store up more fuel if I can before switching from map to map. I kind of thought that last section was the end, but I wanted, I had a chance I could have bought some fuel, but didn't. Because I wanted to save the money to increase the storage of the Jeep. Got a good amount of money, lots of experience. Now, this is something I don't like. What I'd like to do now is go through and equip everything and decide what I want to do. 
um, and give people stuff, um, maybe pay for the upgrades to the Jeep, that kind of thing, but I can't. What I have to do is pick a new adventure. What I might end up doing is running that with uh, some of the other people that I didn't run this mission on and uh, just try to get them to level up some more before we try the next uh, actual story mission. The story missions seem like they're fairly tough. Um, and the, this one was pretty long, so I'm assuming they get longer. There's only five overall. So we did a friend of need. We did the Wrath of God. We next have Knight of the Black Pharaoh, which increases in difficulty and doesn't sound... Well, it sounds ominous, which I'm sure it is. So as we can see, things get harder and harder as we go along to the final mission. So I'll probably run this with the other team, um, just on my own, and level people up, and then we might come back and try the Knight of the Pharaoh with another team. We'll just kind of see how it goes. But anyway, thanks very much for watching. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed this. Um, I'm actually having a lot of fun. It's kind of a simple little game, but uh, I like the pixel art and the style and the setting. Definitely pretty cool 1930s pulp action kind of thing. Anyway, if you're interested in other things, please check them out. Other stuff is up on my channel pretty regularly. I usually stream stuff on Twitch, and then things will come up later onto my YouTube channel. But some things like this, I'm just putting up directly on YouTube. But anyway, thank you very much. I hopefully will see you again. Have a good one.